Hello everyone. I haven't made any videos in a quite a while because I have been moving and I'm finally settled enough in my studio I can actually make journals. I haven't always had time to video them but I thought I would show you these two I just finished made from old book covers. I like to use old book covers like this take out the pages and just use the cover. Then I put the journal in there using the hidden binding technique. I like the way that looks and that way you have the edge of the book preserved. So let's start with the small one. This was a beautiful little bird book. Um, it had a really pretty cover, so I decided to use that and make a journal about birds. I'm just going to check and see if I'm in frame. Well, that's good. Okay, so it has a Tim Holtz post, hitching post for the closure. And on the inside, I kept the original book liner and then I used this piece of fabric here to sew my signature into and then glued it in place. So it's just one signature. And I'm just going to flip through it quickly. This is some paper I dec decorated with spray inks and some little uh, cutouts. And this is from the original book, Birds of America. I like to include some of the original pages because they are the right size, so they fit in here, and it looks nice, I think, to use them. I embellish them sometimes a little bit. So this, in this one, I used a lot of tea-stained paper. Um, I wanted it to have a vintage look. Inside this pocket is a book, or a bird card, collection of cards I have. There's a whole set of them, different birds. And that's just a little scrap of tea stained paper. Here's a page I put gesso on. I added a little pocket here. And this is a little tag I made from some Tim Holtz paper. And just a piece of old note paper with some a stamp on it. Some scrapbook paper that I tea stained. I like the birds on this paper and I love the colors. Some stamping. This is also a page from the original book. I love the print on this paper. I got a new sewing machine. It's a Brother HC 1850. I got it because it has a lot of decorative stitches and I do plan to mostly just sew paper with it. So here's a little, just a little uh, piece of paper folded from that scrapbook paper and a die cut. This page is from a different bird book. Um, that bird book was bigger, so I decided to just fold up the bottom of it. A feather. Some stitching. An old envelope. And inside I have uh, just some old bills. 1956 and a little miniature postcard from Oregon, which is where I'm from. Another page from that old bird book. This one I made a little flip out, opens up. 
and a little tuck spot here. A little miniature tag. Some more stitching. These decorative stitches use a lot of thread, so I have to keep putting more thread on there. A um, couple of little tags. This one's from my flow book, and just a scrap of Tim Holtz paper with a hole punched in it. Another page from a different book. And this little pocket has an old card in it. fit nicely there and I think the flowers look nice there another fold out and that's all it's a little little small book and this one I just finished this morning it's bigger I put a little uh, keychain on here with um, a postage stamp with um, Kind of a glossy stuff called it's like glossy accents but I forget what it's called and a couple of charms a butterfly and then a little dragonfly charm I made and another hitching post on this one the inside was stamped with property of Roseburg School District so I decided to cover it with some wrapping paper I liked the way the colors looked with the book cover and decided to use kind of a lot of this light orange and kind of purple color in the book. Here it's um, on the outside of this signature and then here's the second signature. Hidden binding again. Here's the cloth I used to stitch it to and just two signatures. But this one's kind of fat because it has a lot of stuff in it. So this one I didn't do as much of the tea stained paper. This is more just regular paper that I have. I have a lot of different kinds of paper. Um, map page from this old river map book of the Columbia River. Some note paper I had. Another a page from a different book about flowers. And then a little pocket I made and here's a tag with some of my decorative stitches on it and a little bit of crocheted doily for the top. Made a little folder out of a page from a music book. Another tag. This one I made when I had lots of time and I, it's pretty elaborate. It's got a lot of stitching on it. A little bit of a doily. There's some old seam binding, a little tiny photo. A Tim Holtz set of flower die cuts. I like those flower die cuts, but they're very thick and make tags kind of thick. Some rubber stamping. This is from the original butterfly book. Uh, this is why I bought this book. I loved these illustrations. And here's a page from some tablet paper. Uh, this was from Spray Inks, and this is from a was a little diary book I got, and it had a lot of lined paper in it with borders on it. I had to trim a lot of the border off to fit it, make it fit in this book, but um, I liked how the spider web was here, and then my spider web stencil is on this side. Page from another old book. The pages, the crease down the middle was kind of weak, so I did uh, glue down some tissue paper to kind of reinforce it. And this is an old card, but I cut it open so you have the inside to write on and that side. And this is from the original book. And then where there was a lot of writing, I just sewed some uh, notepad paper to add additional writing space. This is from an old grade book. I don't know if teachers use those anymore. 
And I made these little embellishments one day when I had some free time. There's the middle of the first signature. The rest of that little greeting card. Um, here I decided to sew a note paper page onto the back of this page because it had just a lot of writing. So this gives extra writing space. belly band and the tag has some paper ruffle on it so that when I slide it in here it doesn't go all the way through. Another tag I made when I had some free time. Some more of that old seam binding, a bit of doily. And this is from a paper napkin. More decorative stitches. First signature. Here's the second one. This is this was some dyed paper I bought at a gift shop, and I really love the colors. I use a lot of this paper that I buy that other people put color on, because mine never turns like turns out like that. This is wrapping paper, but it made a nice little pocket just to put some paper in for writing. few pages from a Chinese poetry book. I love the poems in them and I always put a few in my journals if I can. Some um, scrapbook paper with seed packets on it. An atlas page with this little soft butterfly. I'm always on the lookout for paper like this in estate sales, thrift shops, garage sales. I take the, these no, kind of notebooks apart and use the paper in my journals. This is a little tip in. I just stuck it in here with tacky glue on the edge of this photo. And it's, as you can see, it's in there really well. Just a picture uh, sewn onto a piece of old music paper. And once again, I put note paper on top of this page to add some more writing space. Another page from the original book. Beautiful illustration. Here's another one. Here I just um, took a sheet of note paper and sewed it to this page before I put the book together. You can see the sewing there. And it, it added some extra writing space. A paper sack. And since this is a book about butterflies, I put in this photo, which is I feel like a ladies' tea party from the 1950s. They were probably social butterflies. And then on the other side of the bag, I have this beautiful postcard. It's old, and I should probably scan it before I get rid of this journal. Alpine flowers. Love the colors on that. I'm going to leave that out so I don't forget to scan it. Another piece of note paper sewn down. A uh, little quote, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. This is some um, butterflies that were printed on this really thin decoupage paper, and you can decoupage it onto a page and it just kind of disappears. Kind of like using a paper napkin. 
Another page from the original book with some note paper hat added on top. And again, this time I just glued it down. But on this side it's sewn. And this little quote says, we are all a little fragile. And it has a dandelion puff blowing in the wind. Add a little decoration to this piece of note paper. So as you can see, there's lots of untea stained paper, just white paper or colored paper, thinner paper. This is um, erasable typing paper, more Chinese poetry. And the last quote says, use your wings. And then I have in here another old postcard. This one is Monte Carlo. And it, that that's not uh, Tim Holtz ink. That's the natural coloration of this old card, which I should probably scan also. And that's the end. And the, this is stretchy. I'll, Stuff like people use for ponytails, and I like using it as a closure. Well, thank you very much. That's it.